Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Hadassah Serka. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may now be seated today is monday may 8th 2023 now let's take a nice and relaxing brain break you breathe in through your nose and then you hold that breath when he goes down you breathe out gently through your mouth and hold again. Great! This time let's do it together. Breathe in and hold and then breathe out and hold again. Wow, these brain breaks are so relaxing. Now let's see what happened today in history with Nia. Thank you, Hadassah. Hey, Patriots. Today in history on May 8, 1877, the first Westminster Kennel Dog Club show began. This show took place in New York and is one of the oldest continuously running sporting events in the United States. It was first founded in 1877 by a group of hunters. The show originated as a show for hunting dogs, but then was open for all dogs. Nowadays, dogs from all over do tricks and perform tasks that wow the crowd. Hundreds of people travel to New York to watch these interesting and cute dogs. I wonder if they have any shows near Florida. If they did, would you go? Now let's check in with Alexander for today's tasty lunch. Thank you, Nia. Today's lunch is penne alfredo, garlic roll, Italian sandwich, baby carrots, green beans, diced peaches, and artesimo. And tomorrow's breakfast is French toast sticks, syrup cup, graham crackers, fresh orange, 100% apple juice, fruit loops, and artesimo. Students, keep in mind lunch and breakfast can change at any time, and so always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let our teachers know if you are receiving lunch today. But a patina, let's go back to Hadassah. Thank you, Alexander. I can't wait for lunch. This quarter's instructional software challenge ends on June 2nd. Make sure to get a move on those lessons if you want to be invited to the incentive party. Scholars, the state testing season is picking back up. Today, with 3rd through 4th grade testing their math fast test. Good luck! Tomorrow, 5th and 8th grade will be taking their science FCAP. Make sure to get some rest and eat a healthy breakfast. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It is important to make sure your phone is shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you are not allowed to chew gum in school. Make sure to spit it out before entering the building. Students, the Patriots store is open every morning and closes at 7.55 a.m. Tomorrow is third and fourth grade's turn to shop. Don't forget your tickets. The spring music concert on May 23rd is 6 p.m. is coming up. It is $5 cash at the door per person. Make sure to let your parents know so you don't miss it. The lip sync battle is also coming up on May 18th at 6.30 p.m. If any students want to sign up, let Miss Stone know. Pre-sales are available now online through My School Bucks, so buy your tickets today. Now let's see what the weather looks like today with Tatiana. Thanks, and awesome. Good morning, Patriots. Today's weather is looking like a nice 84 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. In other weather news, when ultraviolet light hits a cave in North Carolina, it creates a scene straight from a movie. The Bone Army Mine, located in North Carolina's Emerald Village, has many activities to offer. However, its most stunning attraction would have to be its Black Knight Mine Tour. This tour is only held 10 times a year and is the best time to see the cave's walls and ceilings. This cave's walls and ceilings are composed of mostly crystal opal which is known for its glass-like transparency. When viewed under a black light, it turns green. Would you like to see this in person? Now let's go to Hendrik for birthdays. Thanks, Tatiana. Today's birthday boys and girls are Nicholas Timothy and Alea Taribio. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Hadassah. 
Thank you, Hendrick Patriots. Here are Pat's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. June, Ms. Stone, Ms. Cavalita, Ms. Sands, Ms. Carey, and Ms. Merkel. You all got the correct answer to the Friday's daily challenge, which was, what glove does not have a pair? The correct answer was baseball glove. And now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. Our worker be male or female. Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence and education. Have a great day.